I've always been a logical person and I've liked having answers and I think science used to scare me because it didn't always have all the answers. It's definitely an adventure because you never know what's coming up. You never know that what you're going to discover. Getting to sort of start with a small problem and figure out how to answer it and then sort of just to see where the research takes you. Anything could happen. We necessarily have to rethink the whole model because obviously... There could just be a difference. I think the thing that's great about undergraduate research at Carleton is that there are no grad students, there are no postdocs, so it's just us and our mentors. Yeah, it's cool actually. So you could kind of see that in the scope. So I work closely with Jennifer Wolf, who is a professor here teaching genetics, developmental biology. Jen is not only a wonderful teacher and has taught me so much about science and worms and how to do good research, but also she's become very close and a good friend and mentor. <laughs> as one of the senior members of the laboratory, Jen really looks to me as someone who keeps things running, keeps experiments going, trains the younger people, um, and that's really good experience to have at this stage in my career so that when I go to grad school, I will know how to sort of be in charge. There's a male right there, and here's a hermaphrodite, which is a lot bigger, and it has... Our lab is interested in looking at genes that are involved with sexual dimorphism in C. elegans neurons. And so I did a genetic screen looking at a library of 400 different genes and sort of going through each one individually and looking at how they might affect the neurons. And I actually found that one of these genes caused the hermaphrodite worms to express male features in their neurons. And it just felt like I had discovered something really cool and that all my hard work had paid off. And so it was, that was a good day. In the fall, I submitted an abstract of my work and I was chosen as one of the about 50 students who'll be going to DC to represent their respective states and schools in a conference on undergraduate research. And so I will be presenting my poster as well as meeting with senators and representatives. I don't think this discovery is going to win the Nobel Prize um, because it's just a small piece of the puzzle about sexual dimorphism, but every, every gene or every pathway that we can sort of figure out more in a C. elegans will tell us just a little bit more about how humans work or how mammals work, all of which ultimately is useful for understanding disease mechanisms. I think that science is a great way to contribute something that can help a lot of people. Um, but still doing something that you think is really cool.